वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर सेकेंड एक्सपेरिमेंट द मॉगन सीरम्स एंड बुलन अल्जिब्रा नाउ वी हैव टू प्रूव द द मॉगन सीरम्स देर आर टू द मॉगन सीरम्स एंड देर आर सम बुलन आइडेंटिटीज विच आर मैंशन यू हैव टू प्रूव दैम बाय यूजिंग द ट्रूथ टेबल फॉर द वेरियस आइसिस विच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर यू आर गिवन हियर नाउ द मॉगन फर्स्ट सीरम इज A dot P the whole bar equal to A bar or B bar. The truth table for the left hand side and the right hand side, as you observe, are, have the same outputs. So when A equal zero, B equal zero, A equal zero, B equal to one, A equal to one, B equal zero, the output is one on both the sides, the left hand side as well as the right hand side. But when A equal to one, B equal to one, the output is zero on both the sides. So the circuit diagram or the gate diagram for the left hand side. Is we are using the NAND gate. Pin number one and two are the inputs. Pin number three is the output, which goes to the LED. For the right hand side, we have the NOT gate followed by the OR gate. Pin one and three are the inputs for the uh, NOT gate. Pin number two and four are the outputs of the NOT gate. Pin number two goes to pin number two of NOT gate output goes to input of OR gate. Pin number one. And pin number four of the NOT gate goes to pin number input. Pin number two of the OR gate. Pin number three is the output. So the circuit diagram on the left hand side, you see that seven four zero zero is a NAND gate. Pin number one and pin number two, red and black wires, are the inputs given to. The NOT gate. Pin number three is the output. Pin number seven is connected to ground. Pin number thirteen is given to VCC line. So I made the line. This this line here is the VCC line, and I made downside over here as a ground line. So the LED is connected to ground as well as the one which is going to the source. So you see that it's put to the source over here. And this is put to VCC. So let's see the working. Now, the working on the left hand side and the right hand side should be the same. So let's see when A equal to zero, B equal to zero, A equal to zero, B equal to one, A equal to one, and B equal to zero. The output, sh the output of the LED should be one, or the, or the LED should light up. So let's see. So I'm giving A equal to zero, B equal B equal to zero. The LED lights up. From the other side, so you can see clearly, lights up. Now when both of them are one, the LED does not light up. A equal to zero, B equal to one. LED lights up. A equal to one, B equal to zero. The LED also lights up. So we have proved. So we have proved the truth table for the left hand side. Once more, I reverse the LED lights on. Okay, now we go to the right hand side. So the left hand side is proved. Right hand side. Look at the circuit diagram. I have the NOT gate followed by the OR gate over here. Pin number fourteen of both are joined up, so I'm going to take the VCC wire and give it to and give it to the pin number fourteen over here. As you see, I put it to pin number fourteen. It says put over here. Pin number seven of both the ICs are also joined up with a common ground line. So I'm going to take it out from here and I'm going to put it to. The ground line. I can put it at this point. So this what this horizontal line is a ground line. Then the input is pin number one. Look at your circuit diagram. The output pin number two is the red wire. I have given it to pin number one of the OR gate. Pin number two is the next input. That is, that is black wire. You could take it as B or B. The output, pin number four, is taken and given to pin number two of the IC. Pin number three of the OR gate 
is given to the LED and given to ground mode. So you have to observe the outputs and it should be same as for the left hand side. So that means when A equal to 0 and B equal to 0, the output should be 1. So let's see that. 1. So it lights up and when both of them are 1, the LED should not light up. But when I change A and B, I give 1 as 0 and 1 as 1, the LED lights up and that means the output is 1 and when I interchange, the LED also lights up. Okay, so we have proved left hand side equal to right hand side, which is the first De Morgan theorem. So now we are going to prove the second De Morgan theorem. A or B the whole bar equal to A bar dot B bar. The two table for left hand side and right hand side are also shown along with the circuit diagram for left hand side and the right hand side. Okay, for the left hand side pin 2 and 3 are the inputs, pin 1 is the output. For the right hand side we have the NOT gate followed by the AND gate. So 1 and 3 are the inputs for A and B, 2 and 4 are the outputs. Pin 2 of the NOT gate is going to pin 1 of the AND gate and pin 4 of the NOT gate is going to pin 2 of the AND gate and given to the LED. Pin number four, uh, 3 is given to the LED. Okay, so let's see the circuit. So this is the NOT gate, NOT gate, VCC pin number 14. Pin number 7 is given to ground and pin uh, 2 and 3, the red and red and black wire, 2 and 3 the inputs. Pin number 1 is the output is given to the LED. So let's see the working. When A equal to 0, B equal to 0, the output should be 1. So when A is equal to 0 and B equal to 0, so I'm going to put it to the ground. The LED lights up. When both are one, it goes off. And when I give A equal to zero, B equal to one, the LED does not light up, so the output is zero. And when I reverse A and B, the LED does not light up. So we have proved on the left hand side when A equals 0, B equals 0, the LED lights up for all other cases. As we seen in a two table, the LED does not light up. So now we'll go on the right hand side. If you look, the first gate is the NOT gate. The NOT gate followed by the end gate. I have given VCC of both the gates common together and I will put it to the VCC of the power supply and the ground I will put it to the common ground of both the ICs so you see that the end gate pin number 7 and the NOT gate pin number 7 are both joined together and given to the source. Okay, and the input is pin number 1, pin number 1 and pin number 3. So now when both these are 0, the LED should light up. So let's put it to 0.
So when both of them are zero, then it lights up. And for and for a zero b is one. The LED does not light up. If I reverse. The LED does not light up. And when both are one. The LED does not light up. So only for the case when A equals 0, B equals 0. The LED lights up. So we have proved the left hand side. And we have proved the right hand side. Now we have to prove any three boolean identities. So various boolean identities are given 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9 on one side, then 10 AB, 11 AB, 12 AB, 13 ABC, D, and 14 ABC. So we have to prove at least three of them. Now the last two, 14A and 14B, are thermogos theorem we have already proved. And also, and also you now know how to make the connections. So you have to draw the circuit diagram or the logic gate diagram and connect the pins to VCC or ground. Okay, so let's take one of them. So for this, I'm not going to make the diagram. So for this, x plus x plus x bar. This is the first one, sorry. X plus x bar equal to 1. So how will you make that? So um, since we have the plus sign between, we require an OR gate. So one input is complement of the other. If I given one as x, the other I pass to a NOT gate and given to the OR gate. And the output is taken on pin number 3 of the OR gate. So pin number 1 is x input. Pin number 1 of the NOT gate. Pin number 2 is the output of the NOT gate. Pin number 2 output of NOT gate is given to pin number 2 of the OR gate. And then the table should be verified. Then for the next one, x plus x bar y equal to x plus y, the truth table, when x and y are both 0, we have uh, the output as 0. For all, all other conditions, it's 1. The circuit diagram is drawn over here. So you have to learn how to draw circuit diagrams. See, there's a, there are two terms. One is x and one is x bar y so that means the output of both x and x bar y are given to an OR gate as you see and then for the second gate which is the AND gate one input is x bar so I pass the input of x to a NOT gate the output is pin number 2 which is given to pin number 1 of the AND gate the next input y is given to pin number 2 of the AND gate pin number 3 output of the end gate is given to p number 2 of the OR gate. So this is for the left hand side whereas for the right hand side we, the output is OR X or Y. So when both inputs are 0 the output is 0 all other conditions is 1. Okay, and then for the third for the third one I have taken x plus 1 equal to 1, so x, x is 1, the other one input is logic 1, so I have tied the input of the OR gate to VCC itself and taken the output on pin number 3 and given it to a LED. So the same way connections has to be made as we make for the Morgan theorems and verify the output.